In this video, we're going to cover the creation of the email templates in relation to the Service Manager app. We start by going to the Admin tool, and up in the top left, we can select the Service Manager app from the list of applications. This then gives us the context list of um, settings and options, where we select Email, followed by Templates. The first thing to do is to select an entity. Uh, each of the entities contains uh, information that you may wish to publish uh, to the emails that you send out. Uh, so here's a list of uh, different entities that belong to the Service Manager app. In this case, we're just going to use the Requests entity uh, to allow us to put information about a request into an email template. And we just click on Create. And then we're just going to give it a name. This will just help us reference this particular template later on. So I'm just going to call it a New Request Confirmation. And then the subject line. This subject is actually contained in the email that's going to be sent out as part of this template. This then brings us to the body of the email, where we have a basic editor with options uh, such as pasting from Word. So you may wish to build your template in Word first and then copy that in. You could also add things like hyperlinks uh, and images. But the most important uh, aspect of this is the variables. So I'm just going to start by typing in uh, dear. And then we'll go to the list of variables. And what I want to do here is insert the customer name into my email template. And I'm just going to go down a couple of lines and type in thank you for your request regarding. And then at this point, I'm going to add in some more information from the, the request. And I'm going to take the, uh, the summary details that have been typed in. And then to apply a bit of formatting, I'm just going to highlight the variable. And then I'm just going to italicize it. And I'd also like to include the reference number. So I'm just going to type in your reference number is. And then from the variable list, I can go and select request ID. And the last thing to do is add a signature to the email. So I'm just going to type in regards, your support team. And then we can click on Save Changes. And then I'm just going to manually trigger an email. And there we see it pop up. So we just have a quick look so we can see what the end result of the template looks like. So here we see the name entered in along with the italicized summary and the incident ID.